1.37 in the morning, and I'm at LAX right now. Kind of a weird video, I know. We started in LA, went to Venice, um, did a little bit of the tourist stuff. I just dropped my friend off at the airport. She's headed back to Australia, so now it's 4.30 in the morning, and I'm in LA. Right now, um, I'm very tired, and thankfully, autopilot is going to carry us. Um, all the way to the Victor Royale back home. Update, it's 4.47 in the morning. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this. A Tesla is fully electric. If you didn't know that, you live under a rock. I have to go stop at a charging station right now before I drive home at five in the morning. And I thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys how it actually works. And by the way, what better time to be next to SpaceX than right now? Look, we've got the SpaceX rocket right there. Homie crossing the street. Vlogging and driving. All right, I gotta find the charger station. So if you go to enter a trip in a Tesla, um, like say I wanna go home right now, it'll actually pull up a charging station that is the closest to you because the car knows that you don't have enough charge to get there, which is what I'm trying to find right now. Where is this? Well, I'm going into, I'm going into Tesla and SpaceX right now, so this is just where my car took me. Let's go this way. Let me ask Tesla, homie. Excuse me? Uh, where can I find the charger for this? Thank you so much. No SpaceX traffic, yeah, buddy. Only T Fox traffic. 4 a.m. adventures, let's get it. Yo, we're behind the scenes right now at SpaceX. I'm getting you guys this top of the line, never before seen footage. I was actually just here for the Tesla event. I don't know if you guys saw that video. What are the odds I end up here again? This is literally where the Tesla event was held. Oh, here we go, I found them. Thank you. God, all the Tesla people are so nice. This is a Tesla gas station. Sorry, supercharging station. So this is how it works. You pull up at one of these places. Um, if you have a Tesla, I'm pretty sure you automatically, your car is kind of connected to this thing and it will almost like detect when you're showing up. Press that. Need to charge it. And uh, boom. Wait for it to turn the good color. The good color. The good color. Supercharging. Yo, here we go, here we go. Just like that, you show up, it detects your car, so you have like an account with Tesla, and then you can plug your car in and fuel up, or charge up. Also, one more fun fact. When you use a Tesla supercharging station like this right here, it takes 30 minutes for your car to get completely charged. It's not that long of a time to charge a car. Basically, it was telling me if I don't come and do this, I had to stay under 60 miles an hour in order to make it home. Look, okay, the past week, I've been just enjoying life. I've been hanging out with my friend Avalon. I've been showing her around the United States, uh, California, same thing. I've been showing you around the United States. I showed her the whole thing. Anyways, you get the point. I've been super, super, super busy. I feel like I've put a little less effort into my YouTube videos the past couple of uploads, which is which is not so much like me, but I wanna shoot straight with you guys. I have so many fun videos planned and so many crazy things. I'm actually gonna give you a little bit of a sneak peek when we get home. But Fox fam, I love you guys so much. I didn't even get a thank you for hitting 8.7 million. We hit 8.7 million. 8.7 million people on this YouTube channel. I haven't talked about that yet because it was only a couple days ago, but so many big fun videos planned and guys, you already know that the videos get like 30 times better, the spirits are higher, the vibes are high, the friends are around, there's so much to do. It's nice out, summer's gonna be amazing, but uh, lots of big videos coming soon. I will not let you guys down, I never do. We're roughly uh, 10 minutes into charging here. You can actually see how fast this thing will go up in percentage. Wait till it goes, we'll wait till it goes from one, seven. Oh, here we go, all right, watch how fast until it gets to 180. Alrighty guys, we are live from the cockpit of the Model X. We are in full autopilot mode right now. I have not filmed a video and like talked about this. I, I can just look at you guys and not even have to worry about, I, I should worry about that and I'm going to, I'm gonna look for it. But <laughs> the point, I haven't filmed the autopilot in this car. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen videos about it. I never watched videos about it before getting this car. To do it in person, you can see, apply light force to the steering wheel. Yes, Tesla, of course, anything for you. It's so easy to use, it's insane. It's it's the most surreal feeling, like letting a car drive you on the freeway. Like, it's it's so weird. It just feels like this big moment of truth when you pull these little tiny, it's too dark to see, but the car just takes over and literally starts driving itself. Check this out, I can also lane change. Well, we're gonna wait for this car to pass. Like a safe boy. By the way, update, it's, it's 5.40 in the morning. Here we go. Oh, 
Oops, so there's a car there actually and I just took the blinker on. So it'll show you that the car's there. Car will pass. And then Model X will oh not change lanes because there's a car in the way. But it literally detects cars. Changes lanes. Lane has been changed just like that. Like I don't understand how that's possible. Hats off to you, Elon. Editor's note, I don't want to give complete credit to Elon. I feel like everyone does that. Good job, Tesla team.